What is going on, guys? Welcome to our weekly outlook. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, this is the week of August 26th, 2018, getting very close to the end of the month, and it has been another killer month for positive traders. This is um, our second month um, in a row doing double digits as far as returns go. So we're going to be closing this month off with over 10% returns on our on the trade copier. Um, if you follow our signals with a 2% risk, then you're over 10% for the month. And or we're going to close out 10% um, for the month. So been a really good month. Um, last month, we did about 15%. So just looking forward to keeping this momentum going throughout the end of the year and close off once again, another year for positive traders. But thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you, this is your first time watching, my name is David Schinkel. I'm the CEO and founder of Positive Traders. You can find some more information on our website, positivetraders.us. Um, but just a couple formal announcements, guys, before we get started. Um, as many of you guys know, you guys probably see me posting it all over Instagram and Facebook. Our lifetime membership is ending on September 1st. So um, it's not ending in a sense like if you're already a lifetime member, you are grandfathered in, but I will no longer be offering my lifetime membership after September 1st. Um, it's something I've offered for the past two years. It's extremely undervalued. It's literally every single thing that I do, my webinars. If you guys don't know, I do a webinar every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, or just about every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Sometimes, you know, I get sick or whatnot, but like last week, but I get sick like once a year, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, I do daily webinars, teach you guys. Um, it's, and it's very in-depth. I go over psychology, trading, all that good stuff, going over setups, um, and then, of course, signals and whatnot. We're actually in two signals. If you guys look over to the right here, we were in these two trades. I'm not going to go over these live because these are premium signals that are um, we're in with some profits right now, so we're trying to obviously keep that for the people that pay for it. So, um, but I will go over some good setups, guys. I will, I will share with, or we'll share with you guys my opinions on the markets this week. And, um, with that being said, please do not be taking this as financial advice, guys. This should just be used for educational and informational purposes only. But without further ado, let's get started. Uh, this week in the economic calendar, um, oh, and if you guys want to message me about that lifetime membership, just shoot me a message. But after September 1st, we will no longer, I mean, if we, if I do offer lifetime membership again in the future, it's going to be, you know, somewhere between the five to $10,000 range, if not more, um, probably closer to $10,000 for lifetime membership because it's just way too much, but just to give you guys an idea. So Let's go ahead and get started. This week is super light. You guys notice in the economic calendar, there's just very, very few high impact news. We have some GDP for the dollar Wednesday morning, and then we have some GDP for CAD Thursday morning. Um, we also have some news, some um, uh, New Zealand dollar business confidence Wednesday evening. Um, we have some oil inventories for the dollar on Wednesday morning. Pretty, pretty, just pretty much business as usual, guys. I'm not expecting probably a ton of volatility um, around these news events. So it should be, should be a pretty light week for trading um, as far as in trades are. You probably shouldn't see any crazy moves. But let's go ahead and let's look at what we're, what we're working with, guys. Um, so everything has been moving really spot on. If you, I know I didn't do, a, I didn't do a, a Sunday outlook last week, but I did post a weekly outlook last weekend giving, it was basically a Sunday outlook because I wasn't, um, you know, I was very interested in some specific trades and we saw that happen perfectly. Um, if you guys didn't notice, we saw the dollar index break out finally after months and months and months of consolidation around the bear flag or bull flag. I'm sorry. We broke through our resistance, had a nice little rally. And then last week we saw a correction. Uh, this definitely was expected. Now, I will tell you guys, there's been a lot of debate I've seen on social media. Some people say the dollar is going to the ground. Some people say the dollar is going to the moon. This is my opinion, is I am still bullish on the dollar. I do believe the dollar is going to strengthen very significantly. And I think Euro USD in particular, because it has a negative correlation to the dollar index, just so you can kind of have an, a feel for what I'm expecting. I am still very, very much so bearish on Euro USD. Um, I expect Euro USD 
probably more towards the end of the year, moving, definitely moving into next year, we're going to head back towards the 110 range and back towards parity. And, you know, I, I really think the Euro, Euro is, is going to fall pretty hard. Um, and that should also, we should also see a little bit of a rally from the US dollar as well. So yeah, I am bullish on the US dollar. Now that does not necessarily mean that I'm interested in buying the dollar right now. I definitely see argument for a for the correction on the dollar index. I see that it could maybe do something like this, or it could actually also fake out traders, come back all the way down to 93.2 um, before. Um, that's gonna trap a lot of sellers. A lot of people are gonna see this structure break, a lot of retail traders, and a lot of people are gonna short, you know, start shorting in this area. So that I'd say the most likely probable hood of, or the most highest likelihood and most probable situation is seeing this type of manipulation, um, inducing a lot of, of selling on the dollar just to end up it being just a correction for a further rally. So that's, that's what I'm expecting guys. You know, it is what it is. Some people think, uh, you know, especially for Euro us or the dollar index, a lot of people are expecting, you know, I see, I see pretty much one of two things right now. I see a lot of people saying, well, we're going to either see this break and short the dollar, or we're going to wait for a bounce and buy the dollar. I don't know if it's going to be as simple as that guys. I honestly think we might get a break to the downside and then, a break to the upside. Just some manipulate, just some manipulation um, to prevent people from getting easy money. Okay. Uh, what does this mean for gold? I'm still bearish on gold. I'm still long-term bearish on gold, guys. I'm still looking for 1150, then 1100, and then closer to a thousand. Okay. So pretty much, if you guys have been following me for weeks and weeks or months and months, you guys know that I've been bullish on the dollar for a while. Um, obviously, there's been arguments here and there for sell a little bit of sell-off or correction on the dollar, but ultimately this. The trend is still up. And that same thing is like with gold, right? If obviously you're gonna you're gonna say that gold is bullish if you're just looking at this chart, right? Or you're or you're just on the 15 minute, like so many of you guys are. That's one thing. You guys need to stop messing around on those low time frames. Five minute, 15 minute, one minute. It's really just gonna mess with your head and you're just gonna start emotional trading, which is the worst thing that you can do. So you obviously, I mean, we look at the overall trend. The trend is clearly clearly down on euro usd gold aud usd nzd usd the dollar index is clearly bullish right now and there's no denying that fact guys if, if, if somebody's trying to tell you that the dollar is weak right now dollar is far from weak guys the dollar is chilling okay it is fine okay um and it's just gonna keep getting stronger in my opinion uh euro usd i'm still bearish on euro usd still expecting 110 guys um just because we have a small correction just because we have a week of correction even if the, even if this entire week corrected it's a correction it's called a correction for a reason okay in my opinion this is not a reversal this is a correction um and exactly what happened down in this area is exactly what i thought would happen i told you guys don't sell just because we broke structure don't sell I said, I'm targeting 110. Yes, I'm bearish. Yes, I think sales are valid, but I would I personally would not be selling. We were probably going to correct higher because, guys, you guys have to understand how manipulated the Forex markets are. You don't think every single retail trader saw this break, saw this head and shoulders, saw this retest, right? You look at this on your USD. You look at this on the weekly. This is like the one of the most textbook form um, or uh, setups I've seen, you know, in a while, right? Easy left shoulder, easy head. And an easy right shoulder, right? Everybody saw that right shoulder break. Everybody saw this major weekly previous resistance. You guys can see right around like the 115 zone and it was support support or support before. You can see that, right? That's that's a no brainer. So you, do, you, you don't really think that the market makers are just going to let, you know, everybody short and everybody, because you have to also understand most retail traders, most people, are, most of you got, I mean, maybe not you guys in particular, hopefully not, but a lot of people, a lot of like new people are not even new, just retail traders period don't still use good risk management. So, you know, when they see a trade like this, when they see a break on and everything just looks so good, they, they sell their entire account, right? And maybe you're, you're listening to this and you did the same thing. You over leveraged, you blew your account on this route, right? If you did it sucks, so like suck it up. That's your own fault. Learn to use good risk management, right? I'm not going to, not going to sugarcoat anything. You have to get better at your risk management. You shouldn't even be trading real money until your psychology is, is on point. Simple as that. Okay. But, um, with that being said, Euro USD, obviously there's an argument for the dollar to fall more. So there's definitely an argument for Euro USD to rise. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to see, we're probably going to see some manipulation with this pair. It's not going to be easy, but, um, I'll tell you guys right now, everybody that's connected to the trade copy or everybody that's in the group, we are going to catch this short on Euro USD. We're going to make a ton of money. Um, and that's the way it's going to be. 
and uh, we're just gonna wait for the right setup. And I am not trying to get in too early. So still bullish, still bearish on your USD, still bullish on USD Swiss franc, right? This week it could fall. It could fall the entire week. We could fall super hard this whole week. We could go all the way down. I'm still bullish on this pair, okay? The trend is up. Let's be clear with that, guys. Let's not lie to ourselves, okay? Obviously the past few months, it's been a little rangy. It's been a little rangy, right? But what, what direction is the market moving? It's moving up. All right, dollars, dollar, in, do, dollar index goes up, USD Swiss franc goes up. Enough said, okay? Uh, pound dollar, pound yen, neither of these I'm interested in. Um, I mean, I, we are, I'm, I'm, I'm done with pound yen for right now, guys. I mean, I, if, you, if you didn't catch these moves, if you, if you didn't you know, listen or follow, you know, that's, that's up to you guys. But I called, I called 140 at 148. All right, that was 800 pips on one pair. All right, so I'm, I'm done with this pair for now. Um, even if you didn't catch 140 all the way to one, uh, 148 all the way to 140, I called this break right here. Called this break of 144. Go watch my, go watch my weekly webinars, guys. If you don't believe any of this, like, best thing you can do is if you're new and watching this, go watch like the past eight weekly outlooks. So that way you can get an idea and you can understand how accurate um, we are with you know, predicting the overall trend of the market. And then of course we take trades inside that. Oh, you guys are not supposed to see that. Um, so actually, no, that's okay because we're out of this trade. We closed that trade. So that, that's actually a trade. I'll put, uh, I don't think I can undo that. No, I can't. I don't know why that's weird. I used to be able to undo and go backwards and put stuff back on, but I don't know. Let's see, go backwards. And, oh, maybe right here. Hold on guys, I just scrolled around a lot. Let me just see if pressing this back any, there we go, it does, okay, cool. So this is just a trade just to give you guys, If it, you know, I get, I get asked a lot in, um, you know, like what are the signals like? And this is, this is like an average signal. This is actually a little bit um, bigger stop loss than a normal signal. This is a 77 pip stop loss to make 405 pips. But as far as risk to reward goes, this is the average signal or average trade that I'm taking, right? You have the option to take signals if you're, you know, trading manually, or you can connect to my trade copier and I'll do it all for you. But you know, you don't, you see, I'm not risking 77 pips to make 50 pips, right? I'm not, I'm not risking 77 pips to make a hundred pips. I risk, I risk 77 pips to make 405 pips. Um, so this is a trade. We actually closed it at the end of last week. Um, I was just interested in um, booking some profits and re-entering it possibly this week. I am back on the sidelines though with this pair. I do, th I do recognize, obviously you guys can see that channel, that descending channel in a break of last week. But just as I think that the dollar index has a little bit of argument to the downside and Euro USD has a little bit of argument to the upside and just, just overall manipulation is the best way to say, I think we could see manipulation on manipulation with this pair as well. But um, I think we should, we should overall as the dollar continues to strengthen as Euro USD continues to fall, you know, as we've seen the long-term trends, we should see dollar yen move up higher as well. So as of right now on the sidelines with that pair, um, and let me, let me share with you guys what you should be looking at. Okay. Um, AUD USD and NZD USD, neither of these pairs either I'm really interested in. I mean, there's a lot of manipulation going on with dollar pairs. You guys have to understand that right now that the dollar is, is on the chopping block right now, or, you know, it has, has most of, most of the eyes are on the dollar index because most people are looking at Euro USD. We're seeing some major moves on Euro USD, right? We saw the, the, what's that? Is that the yearly? Yeah. We saw the yearly lows broken, not last week, but the week before last. So, you know, we're, we're, we're literally making history, right? Over these past couple of weeks, we've actually made history, you know, breaking hot, breaking yearly highs, breaking yearly lows, that type of thing. Um, I would go over these two trades guys, pound NZD, Euro NZD, unfortunately, like I just got to save it for the paid members, but we are in trades on both of these right now. We're running one trade. We're looking for 850 pips on the other trade. We're looking for 600 pips on um, both our swing trades with about a hundred to 150 pip risk. Um, and, but this is, if you guys are in the free group, you guys are watching this right now. You want to know what to be looking at potential USD CAD longs. Okay. Now, not right now, not, not today, not tomorrow maybe towards the end of this week, Thursday, Friday, depending on where price goes, maybe looking for some longs on USD CAD, but I need it to drop a little bit more. Obviously, retail traders, most people just trade, you know, not really focusing on like the manipulation or correlation side of things and just looking at just the raw technicals. 
Um, they're seeing, I mean, I've already seen so many charts on Facebook and social media with, with this exact same trend line. Now we've had this trend line for a long time. Obviously you go back, you look at a webinar from two months ago, you'll see that the same trend line has been here. Both of these trend lines actually have been here for months and months and months. And I would expect probably to see some manipulation, probably induce a lot of selling. So what's going to happen is as this breaks, and this is just, again, guys, everything you hear is my opinion. Okay. I am not God. I am not the market mover. So please just remember that at the end of the day, when I'm sharing this speculation, when I'm sharing my thoughts, this is based on my own perception of the markets, based on what I think is going to happen. You know, I am wrong sometimes guys, you know, I'm not, I don't claim to be perfect. I am very accurate, however, right? A 70 to 80% accuracy with, um, as far as entries and, and overall b market bias and direction is probably way higher than that. But I'm talking like actual signals that I give out have between a 70 to 80% win rate. But, um, you know, so, so sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work out, but this is just what I see. And from my experience, I would expect on a break, we're probably going to see a lot of people shorting USD CAD because they all see this trend line break. But what a lot of people don't see is they don't see this green zone right here. And they also don't see this trend line, which if you guys are curious about that trend line that goes way back, um, it is on the daily and it's pretty, pretty textbook, right? The high, it comes from the high of, I'm pretty sure that was the high of 2017. Yeah. High of 2017. Oh no, it was 2016. I'm sorry. Highs of early 2016. Some of you guys, I don't even, I don't know if, if any of you guys are, if, if any of you guys have been trading Forex for that long, but I remember, literally, I remember all of this. I remember this big, big, big drop. I remember this, we dreaded for a while, but we got some nice trades in here. Um, we obviously saw the break. So we, I mean, guys, it's, it's beautiful when you're consistent with Forex and you, you know, you really start to like learn the markets. Um, that's pretty much at the end of the day. I think what is a lot of most people's problems with Forex is they don't, take it seriously. They don't like treat it like a, a, a real thing. They treat it as like a hobby or like gambling or, you know, they don't take it seriously. So that's why most people fail, but take it seriously. You can make some serious money and it's, it's not very difficult if you take it seriously. Um, anyways, so I think, I think worst case scenario, we're going to see something like this. We're going to see USD CAD drop a little bit and then we're probably going to see it rally. Okay. So I'm, I am looking for some buys on USD CAD, but again, that does not, I mean, if you buy it right now, you're going, com, doing the complete opposite of what I said, because I'm, just because I'm interested in looking for buys. You guys have to understand, like, I work on a much higher time frame than most of you guys. You know, I know all of you guys are, are most of you guys are, like, looking for scalps on the 30 minute, 15 minute, you know, and it depends on market conditions. You know, I'm not going to say that that's bad, because I obviously will scalp here and there, but your main bread and butter, your main, if, if you're making, you know, X amount of dollars from Forex or percentage of income a year, only a very small percentage, in my opinion, should come from scalping. You know, a majority should be from, you know, good, solid position trades where you have, you know, ev everything is defined going in. You know, you know everything, you have a good understanding, you have, because you're, you're trying to get that edge and that, that's the key. So anyways, yeah, USD CAD is, is you know, just, just look for its potential longs. Within, within the next 100 to 150 pips to the downside, I would start looking at scaling in on longs on USD CAD. That also means I'd be looking at scaling in shorts on gold because they move opposite of each other. If you guys don't know that, write that down. Gold and USD CAD have a negative correlation to each other. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just watching the rest of the markets right now, watching the two trades that we're in right now. And then, of course, like watching USD CAD, watching Euro USD, watching a lot of trades, waiting for the right move. Um, Telegram, I'll keep you guys updated um, as much as I can. I, I really apologize though. Like I'm, I'm just not like most groups at the end of the day, guys. I'm not about the hype with Forex. I'm about like the money with Forex. Okay. And, and if, if you hype up every single day, you're going to, you're going to go broke. Um, it's, it's Forex is boring guys at the end of the day, you know, it's consistency is boring, but it consistency is what is going to make me millions and millions of dollars in this market. So um, you know, I'm sorry. I don't post as much as some people would like inside a telegram and, and it's, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't give out as much free value as, uh, as maybe some other people do, but I focus on, I focus on myself, focus on my clients, focus on, you know, the, the people that matter, um, uh, people that pay me money to do work for them. So I give out as much of that information and value. And at the end of the day, guys, I don't really, I don't really trade that much, you know, on, on an average month, I'm taking like maybe 10 trades a month. 
So there's, it's, it's kind of hard to give out free information when I'm already taking, you know, qual I'm very quality over quantity. You guys see the trades that we take, you know, they're very, very low risk for very, very potential for high reward. So that's, that's the way you're successful guys. You know, you don't need to be taking a hundred trades a week to be successful, you know, literally five trades a month, 10 trades a month. That's all you need and you can be successful. So that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I don't see any questions inside the chat. Oh, William, great webinar. I always come on here when I can't see your video. Thank you, William. I appreciate that, my dude. Thank you. I really do. Um, other than that, if any of you guys have any questions, again, lifetime membership, there's four, five more days to get into that. Um, I think most of you guys listen to this as a lifetime member, but um, I know we keep getting a trickle of a couple people every day. So really, right now, we've got so many people inside of, let me actually, I, I want to show you, wait, let me see how many people are in here right now. Yeah, we got a couple people. Oh, uh, no, I was, I was going to show you guys Slack, but I, I can't because I gave out signals. Hold on, let me see. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I can do this. I can scroll up a little bit. Let me just share something with you guys because a lot of people are curious of like how the premium group works, how the signals are given out, that type of thing. So um, if you are a paid member of Positive Traders, you get access to our Slack channel. Currently, we have about 276 people in here. That is not all of our members though. Um, we have a lot of investors in our trade copier that just don't decide to, to uh, you know, join. But um, anyways, it's very simple guys. I have a signals channel where I drop signals. So I'm not gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom where the new signals are. But just to give you an example, like this was that, this is actually that USD JPY trade that we just looked at, right? 77 pip risk, 405 pips. Um, you know, and then we clocked, we locked in some profits before the end of the week. So you can see like all of our, all of our trades are in here, market, market updates. Um, I do a daily webinar um, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as well. And I drop, oh, I didn't want to, I almost scrolled all the way down, sorry guys. Um, but I drop the link in here and then I delete the link after and then the recordings are uploaded to the website. So let me just share this with you guys real quick. Um, oh, let me go back to Slack. But yeah, and then we have our chat room. We have, if you want to talk about crypto, you have a question about your broker, you just want to chat about something off topic. You, if, you, if you really don't have a lot of time to go through everything and you just want to immediately hop in the channel and see what trades are active or what trades are pending, we put them in there um, or I put them in there. And last but not least, uh, what was I going to show? Forgot. I was going to show you guys something. Um, it had something to do with the signals. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember right now, but, um, yeah, that, that's that guys. So that's, that's, that's the premium group. So last chance to be a lifetime member after that, starting September 1st, um, it is just going to be subscription based three months for two forty nine, six months for four forty nine, or 12 months for eight forty nine. or you can get lifetime membership for the next 10, 15, 20 years that I run my group for 900 bucks. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a no brainer. And that's the reason I'm getting rid of my lifetime membership is because it's too cheap and I give out way, 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 way so much value. That's what I was going to show you guys very quickly. I remembered it. So on the website also, once you are a member, you get access to the back office and inside this back office, you know, I'm already logged in. So oh, I mean, I'm not logged in. <laughs> Let me log in. Don't ask me why my password is that long. And you can see all of the webinars that we do in here, okay? So I click this. And then we have a whole playlist. So you can see every four, four days a week, I go in here and I upload it. Um, first video to watch if you're brand new. And then you can see like our last one from last week, 823. Um, I didn't put the title on that one. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys get the point And there. There's, I mean, they're literally every single day. So if you can't watch the webinar live, they're all up on here. They're average, you know, like 20, 30 minutes long, go in depth, kind of something similar to this, but more in depth, got trainings. We have, you know, how to connect to the trade copier, all that good stuff. So I don't, I just went over this because I don't think I've really gone and shown you guys in a while what as a premium member, which you get. So, um, I will stop plugging myself in though. So that's, that, that's it guys. Hope you guys have a great trading week. Let me know if you guys have any questions, stay safe. Um, I'll, I'll update you guys as you know, more trades and whatnot come, but uh, take care guys. I'll see you guys next week.